Hello and welcome to episode 14 of the Daily Sales Message, where each and every single day, for at least the last 14 days in a row, we provide you with a piece of simple, actionable advice that's going to help you to improve your sales performance and feel more confident too. If you're new here, my name is James Newell. I teach people how to sell and I take a two-pronged approach. The first one is creating a clear sales message so we can articulate your offering nice and clearly so people understand it. And the second is helping you develop selling confidence so you can be relaxed and normal in a selling situation. Today on the Daily Sales Message, we're looking at risk. What are you doing in your own offering with your products and services to minimize risks for your buyers. Now this comes back to this strange corollary where as a buyer, we want to see proof something's going to work, we want guarantees and risk reversal and all this kind of stuff. And yet as sellers, we don't really pay that much attention or we might think that, oh well, if we offer somebody a money back guarantee, imagine if they took us up on it and we had to give them their money back, <gasps> what then? The fact is, and I haven't got the stats to prove it here, but I know from personal experience from my clients and students, anybody that has any kind of guarantee, promise, refund thing in place, whatever it happens to be, the amount of people that actually called you on it is very, very minuscule, if not flat zero. But the, so that's the downside, but the upside, the amount of new clients you can attract because you're minimizing the risk, you have a guarantee, you have a refund policy, you're making a promise, whatever the mechanism happens to be, but the upside of, ha of having that improves your conversion rates, it attracts new clients and buyers, and that will more than offset the risk of somebody calling you up on your money back guarantee. And let's not forget, if somebody's asking for their money back, that means you haven't done right by them anyway. Something has gone wrong and offering their money back is also a bit of an insurance on your reputation. Because if something goes wrong and somebody gets their money back, they're far less likely to complain about you than if something went wrong and they didn't get their money back. So for today, I want you to consider in your own offering, what are you doing or what can you do to minimize risk for your buyer. It doesn't always have to come down to a money back guarantee. It's just the best option to talk about in such a short podcast episode. But how are you demonstrating to people that your offering works? How are you ensuring and promising and guaranteeing to them that they will get what they pay for? Well, that's it for today's episode of The Daily Sales Message. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about the cost of delay and inaction, something that's often missed uh, by my clients and students, but something that can have a real profound effect when it comes to converting buyers. So tune in tomorrow for that. Thank you for listening. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit that button. Please feel free to leave us a review on your podcast platform of choice. It will help us to reach more people. And if we're not already connected, do reach out to me on LinkedIn. Shoot me a DM. Let me know what you like about the episodes, what you're enjoying, and any questions you might have. And maybe we'll answer them sometime soon on the next episode of The Daily Sales Message. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.